Okay, everybody, we are going to go ahead and get started talking about logarithms today. We're going to talk about, in your book, section 7.4, which is to evaluate and graph logarithmic functions. And today, we're just going to talk about the first part of this. We're going to define what a logarithm is and evaluate logarithms. So, the key concept for today is what is a logarithm. So if b and y are positive numbers with b not equal to 1, the logarithm of y with base b is denoted by log base b of y and is defined as follows. The log base b of y is equal to x. That looks like a subtraction, so go ahead and change that to be an equal sign. Okay, if and only if base b to the x power is equal to y. Okay, so why would this be useful? Well, if you're trying to solve something like 2 to the x equals y, or 2 to the x equals 6, for example, so how could we figure out what x is here if x is an exponent that we're solving for. And so that's why we're going to start using logarithms, but before we can start solving with them, we want to start by just learning the properties and how to transfer between logarithmic form and exponential form. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here in example one is to rewrite logarithmic equations um, between logarithmic form and exponential form. So the first one I gave you both of them, it is that log base 2 of x 8 is equal to 3, and then the exponential form is that 2 to the third is equal to 8. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to use some shapes to denote how to do this. So this is the exponential form here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a square around the base, a triangle above, around the exponent, okay, and then a circle around what that evaluated number would be. So then if you want to set this up in a logarithmic form, you would write log base, okay, and we write the log as a sub number down here, okay, as the base of the evaluated number for the power, and that is going to be equal to the exponent. Okay, and it's really, really important that you're just going to have to remember how to rewrite these in this form, okay? So, log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. That means that the base of the exponent is 2, the exponent is 3, and 2 to the third is equal to 8. And so that's where this comes from. Okay, so what we want to look at first, and we're going to look at one that's actually given to us in exponential form first, and we're going to take the base, we're going to take the exponent, and we're going to take the number that it's equal to and rewrite it as a log. Okay, so log base, well, the base over here is 4, so it's going to be log base 4 of 1, the evaluated number for the power, is equal to the exponent, which is 0. Okay. And then, if we want to work in the opposite direction, so in example C here, I've got log base 12, which means that 12 to the, and the 1 is the exponent in this one, so 12 to the first is going to be equal to 12. Okay, go ahead and try D on your own. Pause the video for a second and rewrite 1 fourth to the negative 1 power equals 4 as a logarithm. All right, so this last one here, 1 fourth to the negative 1 power equals 4. It's log and then the base, log base 1 fourth 
of 4 is equal to the exponent, negative 1. Okay, so we're going to keep going and look at some different uh, expressions here. So next we're going to go ahead in example 2 here and evaluate some logarithms. So this time we are given the logarithm base 4 of 64 and so we want to figure out what would the exponent be. And so we're going to have to use mental math to do this. So the base of the logarithm is 4. The exponent we do not know and we want to figure out 4 to the what power would give us 64. And so that would be that um, 4 to the third power is equal to 64. And therefore log base 4 of 64 is equal to 3. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and do this one more time with log base 5 of 0.2. So we want to figure out 5 is the base so 5 to what power, so to what exponent, is going to give us 0 0.2? Well, you might want to think about 0 0.2 and what it's equal to, and that would be 1 fifth as a fraction. Okay, so 5 to what power will give us 1 fifth? We know that the powers of negative exponents make the... Um, base go to the reciprocal, so that would be 5 to the negative 1 power would give us 1 fifth, and so therefore log base 5 of, of of 0.2 is equal to negative 1. Alright, so let's go ahead and do two more like this. So log base 1 fifth of 125 um, and log base 36 of 6. Go ahead and pause the video and try to do these by yourself. And then when you're done, go ahead and check yourself. So the base here is 1 fifth. So we want to figure out 1 fifth to what power will give us 125. Okay, so you have to think about negative exponents again, and um, one-fifth, you would have to raise it to the negative third power in order to get the reciprocal to be 125, because 5 to the negative third would be 125, okay? So the log base one-fifth of 125 is equal to negative 3. And then last one up here, we've got log base 36 of 6, and so 36 to the what power would equal 6. And so we know, because of rational exponents, that 6 squared would give us 36, so we would have to do the inverse of squaring, which would be taking it to the one-half power, okay, because it would be the same thing as the square root of 36. So um, 36 to the one-half power would equal 6, and so therefore log base 36 of 6 is equal to one-half. All right, so here we've just got a couple of vocabulary words. So a common logarithm is a logarithm that has base of 10, okay? So if you see the common logarithm, log base 10 of x, it's actually just going to be written as log of x. So if you see log of 8, for example, log of 8 would just mean log base 10 of 8, Okay. And then the, la the other one we'll learn about is the natural logarithm, and that has base e. And so we talked about e um, the other day, and so that would mean that the log base e of x, and we actually write this as ln x, natural log. 
a natural logarithm. of x. Okay, so we want to use our calculator to evaluate common and natural logarithms. Go ahead and note on your calculator where the logarithm button is and where the natural logarithm button is. They're located right over here both on the left hand side. So to evaluate the log of x, or the log of 8, you'll type in log of 8 and press enter, and you'll get that it's approximately 0 0.903. And then to evaluate the natural log of 0 0.3, press enter, you get that that's approximately negative 1.204. So we use our calculator to evaluate some of the more common logarithms. So we're going to evaluate here a logarithmic model. And so this is going to be about tornadoes, actually, here in Illinois. Um, wind speed, S, in miles per hour near the center of a tornado can be modeled by this function. So it says S equals... 93 times the log of D plus 65, where D is the distance that the tornado travels, and S up here was miles per hour. So in 1925, a tornado tra traveled 220 miles through three states. Estimate the wind speed near the tornado center. So we want to start by just writing down the model, which was S equals 93 log of D plus 65. And we want to substitute in the value that we're given. 220 miles, was that S or was that D? Well, 220 miles is a distance, so we're going to substitute that in here for D. So S is going to equal 93 times the log of 220 plus 65. Okay, and so here, as you notice, Log 220 does not have a base. So when it does not have a base, we assume that it's base 10. Okay, and so we can use our calculator when we have a log base 10 to evaluate it. So use your calculator to evaluate the log of 220 and so if you substitute log 220 in your calculator you're going to get 2.342 approximately and then we want to just go ahead and add 65 and multiply by 93 so we're going to get that it's approximately 282.81 miles per hour for the speed near the center of this tornado. So tomorrow we'll go ahead and we'll just work with the properties of logarithms some more to make sure that we understand how to evaluate logarithms and transfer the, the logarithmic form into exponential form and vice versa.